I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Voila, now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. I don't want to go that way. Nope, I don't want to go there. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Aim slightly above. Target in sight. Lame! Hey, it's not my fault. You have to really pay attention to guide me. Use your great powers for good, oh Supermax. Show me the way, Max. Aim slightly above. Target in sight. Aim. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Where do I aim? Oops. Where do I aim? Where do 
I aim? Aim a bit to the right. Beep, beep. Laser tracking on. This blows. Where do I aim? Aim a bit to the right. Beep, beep. Laser tracking on. Where do I aim a bit to your left? Chloe Bond has got this. Where do I aim? Where do I aim? Where do I aim? Where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Yawn. I must rid the world of those bottles. Give me something to shoot, Max. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Lame. Give me something to shoot, Max. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's see you take a crack at that rusty barrel. Sorry, Mr. Barrel, your time has come. Listen to those fat bullet beats! Give me something to shoot, Max. Hello, what should I shoot? Fine, since you won't play, I'm gonna shoot this barrel. Yawn. Listen to those fat bullet beats! Give me something to shoot, Max. Hello? Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass!
You guys better run for cover. Yet the bottle remains. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ah, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! gun! Hold on, Chloe. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Well, Max? How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Where is it, Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I- That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. 
Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ah! Oh, 
shit. Shit, I can't budget at all. Blocking the drum. <sighs> I can definitely use this bad boy. can pull a total MacGyver. Circuit City. Please get me out of here. But which wire to cut? Now that's the right cable. Save me again! Crazy! Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but... I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers... might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. I don't see how. It's so friggin' random. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again.
have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. Max, can we talk? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. She got in my face and called me a pig. And I was still wrong. I'll make it up to Chloe. And I'm sorry. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? I shouldn't have said anything. You know about that video going around. Is that why you hassled Kate yesterday? I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Soldier, you don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some weed for me. Bring me the brain, Igor. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I have a vision. Go. Godium. Godium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Hmm. I like the way you look like you're always thinking ahead. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. I can't wait for fall either. It's all about the atmosphere. You're the artist and I'm the scientist, like yin and yang. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max, we'll talk again, real soon. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? Maxwell Silver Hammer. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? <laughs> I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! 
She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. I'm trying, but you have to under- Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry. Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh yes, I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? No. I just don't want Kate Marsh to be the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Yes. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Boom. 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 Tina, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like ass. Do you think Max... Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. And paparazzi. I want that photo whore or I get nasty. Too late. Oh, burn! Max is so fearless when she has backup. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Don't get cocky. This isn't over. In fact, shit's just starting, Max. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll we see have you a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. 
I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only... It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like I guess Max Kate will miss class now. Who I know. I'm worried about her. I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Rewind again and again. Keep going, Max. You can do it. doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Did you come to get another Pulitzer shot like yesterday, Max? I had no idea what was going on between you and David. Really? So you took a picture to find out? How else would I find out? You'll find out if I jump right now. Everybody will. Kate, don't. Please. Get out of here, Max. You can't change my mind. My life sucks and I want it over. Now. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. You are such a liar. You wanted to help by ignoring my phone call? I was with Chloe, and she was having a serious problem, too. I'm sorry. Apparently her problem is worse than mine. So why even bother with me? I'm done anyway. No!
I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little Shh. Are you going to take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? Except I have proof. Here's a photo I took of David and Kate yesterday. That's not... not proof. Hold on. This isn't a courtroom. But I feel it would be in the best interest of Blackwell and this situation to put you on temporary leave. We will continue this conversation later, when the police finish their own investigation. Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh! This is major bullshit. I led troops into battle, and you're letting this punk lead you? No. I am sorry, David. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight, I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but 
There's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. <laughs>